there's a real strong legacy of orthodoxy in America, and it really started here in Sitka and has you know, kind of branched out over time. Bishop David is here as part of his um, investment ceremony, which means that he will be officially designated as the Bishop um, of Alaska, and he will be proceeding from the Russian Bishop's House, which is the home, or has been the home of many, many bishops over time, and will be proceeding from here to St. Michael's, where his ceremony will ultimately culminate, and he will finally be installed as the Bishop of Alaska. And um, we just welcome you all and hope that you enjoy um, the tour that we have planned for you. And um, again, thank you for allowing us to be part of this celebration uh, as hosting the investiture for Bishop-elect David. James, I think thank we're you. good. All right, so everyone can follow me. Excuse me, thank you, welcome everyone. This house is really significant with its history um, of the number of bishops that have lived here and the number of saints that have lived in this home. So, um, you know, this weekend is just a great opportunity for members of the Orthodox uh, community to come and learn a little bit about the heritage and history of the people that have lived in this home um, and the significance of this home and the history of Russian Orthodoxy in North America. So all the people who have traveled from all over the country are here really to celebrate one moment and that is the investment of Bishop David, His Grace, as the Bishop of Alaska. So this is a really historic important event for the um, National Park Service, for Sitka National Historical Park as a unit of the National Park Service, for the Orthodox Church in America, and of course for the Russian Bishop's House. And it's all centered here on the Russian Bishop's House, which is really one of the places where uh, Russian Orthodoxy gained a real strong foothold in Alaska um, back in the 1840s and even earlier. There are no other national park units that commemorate the history of Russian America. This is the only one. This is one of only four historic buildings left from the Russian American colonial era. And it is uh, really unique in that it was the historic home of the Russian bishops. So we have not only many of Bishop Innocent's original things, but we have his original chapel. And there's just a long legacy of uh, the importance of the Russian bishop's house, not only in Sitka, but also for the Russian Orthodox faith. So in 1972, Congress, was, Congress approved the purchase of the Russian Bishop's House by the National Park Service from the Russian Orthodox Church. Um, at that time, the house was um, in a bit of disrepair. It was built in 1842, so uh, as you can imagine, it had seen over a century of use and needed some work done on it. So the first thing the Park Service undertook after the purchase was a restoration of the house. Uh, as you can imagine, it had seen over a century of use and needed some work done on it. So the first thing the Park Service undertook after the purchase was a restoration of the house. That restoration period took over 15 years. And as part of it, we really dissected the house, and both externally and internally. As it turned out, there was a number of um, objects in the house that were owned by the Russian Orthodox Diocese of Sitka in Alaska. And so in 1976, the Park Service and the Russian Orthodox Church came to an agreement about what to do with these, with these objects. Culturally, artistically, it was so significant to the, Russian Ortho, to the Russian Bishop's House as a historic site, it made sense to have them remain in the Russian Bishop's House. And so that started our loan agreement um, for those objects to be stored in the house, although owned by the Russian Orthodox Church. One of the stipulations for the loan is that the Russian Orthodox Church is able to use the Russian Bishop's House and use the um, chapel and the sanctuary for religious services. This weekend, the investiture of uh, Father David as the new Bishop of Sitka in Alaska is another really exciting event taking place in the house. Um, and really, it's just a... It's, it's another example of the terms of the loan agreement, that old loan agreement being carried out 
in addition to being a really exciting thing that breathes life back into the objects that belong in the house. And then you can see there's a piece of, of glass or plexiglass in front of them to, so that they still have, when they still have services here, they're, those same icons will get to be here for generations. Mm. You know, and that's, you know, the Park Service wants to preserve things for future generations, so so glad, you know, so honored to be a part of that. Today, um, the bishop is actually, there is actually going to be um, the ceremony where Bishop David becomes the bishop. And first, they're going to gather here um, at the Russian bishop's house in various rooms, and they're going to put on their, their vestments. And they're very, very, they're special vestments because it's a very special occasion. The Orthodox Church um, is very grounded in tradition and history. And so, and, and they have, there's a lot of ritual and pageantry to what they do, which is a special occasion. We chose the, the bishop's house as part of the installation of Bishop David um, in the spirit of uh, St. Innocent, <clears throat> where this was his house and St. Innocent being uh, the first bishop of St. Michael's Cathedral. And it is always appropriate to process from uh, the bishop's, the house where the bishop resided uh, to the church. And so uh, what better place to be able to begin but where uh, our Saint Innocent lived and ministered and to uh, have the bishops beginning their procession to the cathedral in the morning. The priests will be lined up <clears throat> along the street and as the procession passes, the, um, the priests will fall in behind and the procession will continue all the way to uh, to the cathedral with the bells ringing the entire time. So it sort of cements our uh, love for this house um, and our love for what the Park Service is, has been able to do for us in, in maintaining as, and keeping the spirit alive for us.